Jenna. The name that you've probably heard on this channel many a time, typically in the form of Q Jenna, a young naive girl who usually falls for every scam in the book. You could probably ask to borrow her pets for a thousand years and she'd think a thousand years was something like two days with her mum. She's typically had her life ruined by these scammers. Then now she's come to ruin our lives. You see, Jenna has now become known as one of the greatest hackers in the world. She has Anonymous shaking in their boots. She'd probably have the, the people from Watch Dogs shaking in their boots if they were real. In fact, she was probably behind the 2010 Stuxnet attack and then the 2017 WannaCry ransomware attack that originated in North Korea. She's the boogeyman that has been hiding in our closets the past few days and apparently she is coming out today. Then tomorrow, the 7th and the 8th. She has connections all over the globe and today, she threatened me. This all began, according to my most trusted source on the internet, TikTok. P Roblox Stories Part 7 Jenna So Jenna was a Roblox online day tier back in 2017. But Jenna wasn't any ordinary online day tier. Because you see, Jenna would online date boys and if they broke up with Jenna, Jenna would hack them, and she would find where they live, in real life. She would force them to date with her in real life, and if they broke up with her again, she would kill them. If you see Jenna in game, my best tip is to run away as fast as possible. Stay safe out there. Dear God, if that didn't get you shaking, I don't know what did. I think I've peed my pants for the fourth time today from that one. Now, you may have some pretty burning questions about Jenna after seeing that. Maybe some, some little ways, a little loophole that you can use to escape her grasp. So does the TikTok comment section. Just imagine asked, but we're safe, right? Because we're girls, right? Well, unfortunately, that's not true. As there was a second TikTok posted that gave us a little bit more information about Jenna. Who is Jenna? So Jenna was a Roblox and line dadder back in 2017. And if the boys broke up with her, she hacked them and find out where Ethi live in real life. People said, Jenna is a killer, but I don't know if it's true. Jenna is one of the most dangerous hackers on Roblox. Jenna is coming back on 7 and February 8th. She is gonna hack girls on Roblox. So if you're a girl in Roblox, change your avatar into a boy or go offline. Stay safe. Okay, so now we have two extremely conflicting sources. One says Jenna's a crazy girlfriend who dates boys, and then if they dare break up with her, she'll shank them. This one's saying, oh, she only take kills girls. So if you're a girl, she's gonna shank you. What do you do to survive? Do you, do you dress up as a boy? Do you dress up as a girl? Because Jenna, Jenna only dates boys, apparently. Wait, what do we do? Well, the alarming thing is, we don't know for sure. That's the problem. That's why Jenna is so scary. She's so unspecific with her details. She's like your year six final grade school test. And we all remember how terrifying that was if you made it past grade six yet. Then yes, in case you were wondering, she can catch you if you're at Malaysia. <laughs> so don't feel at rest yet. However, the most shocking details were earlier in that TikTok. Did you notice how it said Jenna's coming February 7th and 8th? That's today. And in fact, she has been hinting at her return for many days in advance. If we look up a girl Jennifer, which is a Roblox account, look at this. Look, her, her face doesn't even come up. She, she's hacked the Roblox mainframe and deleted her entire image from the platform. She could be anyone right now. On her profile, she has a place. And this place is one of the darkest places that you can go on Roblox. In fact, the, the, the only way it could have been allowed was that it wasn't allowed and Jenna hacked her way through. It's a default place. Then it also has blood around the ground. Then apparently I'm a HD admin who is also uh, able to use the Thanos command. You could not live with your own failure. There is a reason why I'm using the Munchly account right now, and we'll get to that soon. But if you follow the blood trails in Jenna's game, you'll be taken to some very disturbing murder scenes. You see these girls here? They ain't safe. That guy there, Jenna might date him. She, he ain't safe. That those girls there, they ain't safe. This shirtless guy, man, loves, Jenna loves dating those types. Yeah, she, he ain't safe either. Here is one of the first locations of Jenna's rampage. Even Thanos can't break in. Even the FBI slash the IRS, and you can't even get down the chimney. It's even Santa proofed. However, there is a way to peek in. If you see through the little slot in the window here, as soon as Big Cheeks gets down, you'll see that Jenna is right behind what was originally Creecraft, but is now his new Roblox avatar. She may be giving him a hug, she may be giving him a tickle, or she may be murdering him. 
The second blood trail takes you into a mysterious dark cave, perhaps one of Jenna's hideouts where she used to take her old boyfriend. If you go through the tunnel with Fan of Adopt Me 20 and the donut Zara Larson guy who just passed away, you will see a very mysterious skull. Then if you hold E to interact, it'll be the greatest scare of them all. Nothing but a message, then a very, very strange demonic laughter. You were kicked from this experience. A attempted login from Jenna prevented. She tried to get into my account, but there's one man standing in her way. David Bazuki, our boy. But there's still one more blood trail that I've yet to show you. And this is the reason why I'm using my monthly Yum Yum account. You see, I'm actually living in fear. I'm on the run. I'm practically in the witness protection program right now. Because if we follow through the blood splatter in the middle of the map across a long, winding valley past a deep blue lake where Jenna's most likely stored many of her victims, including Lanky Box and Big Bird. We climb up a mountain past a screaming child running for the hills and another screaming child jumping off the hills and in a little lake at the bottom. You will see what will probably disturb you more than anyone else in this game or in life. You'll never see anything worse. It's me. Completely crushed from the waist down by a boulder. That is correct, everyone. It is too unsafe for me to go onto my Devon TV account. In fact, Jenna could be watching this video right now, desperately trying to log in, but she won't be able to if I'm on the munch. The munch is completely safe from her charms. Trust me, he's really ugly. And I live in constant fear to this day on the February 7th that she may find her way into this Roblox account. There's one thing that I haven't mentioned, which is awfully mysterious and very strange. In fact, this could turn out to be one of the greatest conspiracy you have ever come across on Roblox. See, if you notice, Creecraft originally made a video called Roblox Jenna is coming to hack you, where he also goes through this details. In fact, this is how I found out about Roblox Jenna. And Creecraft goes in and discovers some of the truth behind this. And in fact, while he's editing as well, his program gets glitched, perhaps by Jenna. But then he goes too far. At the very end of the video, he does something that will change the course of his life and his channel forever. Okay, so you're saying that if I change my avatar to a girl, she'll come after me. Okay, well, uh, let's do that, shall we? I'm gonna use the default woman avatar right there, and then I'm just going to, uh, put on my normal clothes. Why not? There we go, I'll put that face back on. This is the greatest mistake that Creecraft ever met, and this is the reason why you need to be careful and pay attention, because literally a day later, he makes another video. Roblox Jenna Exposed. I caught her on Discord. And of course, I would recommend watching it if you haven't watched it yet, because what you'll see if you do watch it is that the majority of the video, Creecraft spends the entire video dispelling the fact that Jenna is real. He, his, the entire motive is that, oh, it's fake. He constantly reminds us. Oh, it's fake. He calls up Jenna. Oh, it's a boy. And then he's like, oh, it's fake. It was just a, a ruse, a, a classic haha. -ha. And at the very end, he tells everyone on his audience to dress up as girls on Roblox. The very thing that will make Jenna come after you. You see, when Creecraft dressed himself up as a female on Roblox, Jenna did come after him. This is no longer Creecraft. I don't know if Jenna's hacked his YouTube channel. I don't know if she's possessed him. I don't know if she's blackmailed him. But something is wrong with Creecraft. Through Creecraft, she has created an army of, of Jenna lights, acolytes for Jenna that will flood Roblox on the 7th and the 8th. That means our boy, the hero, David Bazuki, won't be able to find the official Jenna to ban. It's the entire reason she's doing this. We're all in danger. But I do not come bearing this news without a solution. You see, I did manage to track down Jenna's old boyfriend, a man by the name of Dave, with 64 friends, one 65 friends before Jenna unfriended him. He is the only one that Jenna couldn't stop. He is the only one that Jenna despises more than anything. She will not touch anyone who is in the same server as Dave. And that's how we stop her. We also need to create an army. We need to create an army of Daves and flood Roblox, flood the servers, Bloxburg, Brookhaven, and protect the people from Jenna. And all you need 
is a man face. And here we go. I am now Dave. He may have peed his pants a bit because he's going to face his girlfriend, but we've got to save the world. Who's with me? I'm going to be streaming tomorrow and we are hunting down Jennifer Good. The Dave army is putting a stop to her. Let's go. Like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.